promise I'm going to show you today how to use the electric can opener. What we're going to do today is we're going to do these Vienna sausage, these little uh, sausage things that I got at all these. These used to be 99 cents, now they're up to $1.49, so it's a 50% increase. But kids love them, so we buy them. So I'm going to show you how to do these today. Stay with us. First thing we do, we've got my jars ready. Okay, I got four jars. I got 40 links. Ten links will fit in each one of these jars. So we're going to put all these in here, like so. Jars are being cleaned, so don't worry about that. Get all these in there for you. You'll be amazed at how easy that electric canner is to use. It is so simple. It's the best thing I think I bought for my cannon supplies. Some nice hot water. We're going to hot pack these today. Mess. really good if you make things in a blanket for breakfast. Kids really like these. So that's why I like to keep them on hand in the freezer. Okay. Okay, can or will hold. Five pints or four quarts. Okay, so I've got four pints here. This here is going to be. My sister found these jars at the Dollar General store. They were a quarter a piece. I left those from Christmas. So I'm going to call this a sacrificial jar because I'm going to see if they'll hold up under the pressure. That's why there's no meat in this. It's going to have water in it. So we'll see. She bought me like 50 something of these jars. For a quarter each, and we figured it that I paid probably fourteen, a little over fourteen dollars for all of them, and the price of a quart jar is twelve of them, or that much at Walmart. So, sacrifice, sacrificial. Hope it holds up. Lids here, my little thing bugger. Okay. You can come with these pretty little lids too, green and red. She got me quartz and she got me pine. She got all of them they had. I appreciate that, Sandy. Hey, Sandy.
Junkie for a second. Never mind. Now we're going to put about four cups of hot water in there. I need it enough, I know where to stop. Get those in there. Put your lid down. Slide it. Okay. So, on the pressure canner, you want to use the high setting. It's got water bath steam. It's got low. It's got high. And then down here it's got you can slow cook, pressure cook, and you want to brown. Do not use pressure cook for your canning because that's just for cooking, not for canning. You want to use the high setting. And since this is meat, we're going to set it for 90 minutes. So you hit your high button and then just hold that until you get up to 90 minutes. 60. Oops, too far. Make sure your little exhaust thing is set on exhaust. And we're going to hit this start button. Now this here is going to go around until it starts getting steam. And it will go come up with E10. E10, it will count down from there for your steaming for 10 minutes. And I'll come back and show you what to do when it's done with there. Okay, guys, we're back. We're going to get... It's been uh, hot air. We're down to E1, and he's got less than a minute to go. And after it gets down to there, we'll close that spigot. Change here in just a second. And there, see, goes to E0, start to beat, and that's your seat mode to put that on airtight. Just flip it over to airtight. You know, so you let it go, and then... What will happen is once it starts building that pressure, this little E0 is going to start going around in a circle. Now go around in a circle to reach pressure. Once it reaches pressure, the 90 minute timer will kick in. Then it'll start counting down. Let me show you that. Take a while. So, there it goes. See how it goes around? Now that's what's going to happen. Until it reaches pressure. Once it reaches pressure, it'll go to E90. And that's your timer indicator. So we'll come back when it's about done. Catch you a little bit. All right, guys, we're back. In nine, almost nine minutes. We're down to less than one minute. We'll watch that go down. I'll see what it does next. Sorry, I thought it 
se me chama ele. É. All right, see, it automatically goes off. So we're done with that part. It'll take about an hour, hour, 15 minutes for it to cool off. It will not let us open it up until it's cooled off all the way. So we'll be back then. Okay, guys, we're back. It's been a little over an hour. Let me uh, Candle pull down. Sorry, lost my mind there for a second. So let's see what's going on. What? Now that crack jar that my sister got me from the Dollar General, and I wanted to see if uh, it would stand up to pressure cooking. It did. It did not break. So like I said, she got those for a quarter. She got like 50 of them. So I'm pretty happy with it. It's pretty cool too. They come with the lid and the rings. So there you go. I can use those in my pressure canner this summer. So, there you go. You see how easy that was to you to do. I mean, pretty all. I, I think everybody should get one. Have one. Because if you don't have that many jars, I mean, like I said, I'll take five pints and four quarts. And I have used quarts in it before. So, so thank you and see you later.